Hey, if you're looking to get away from it all, this is the place to do it. John Bartel here, making a little pit stop in Laporte. Laporte is an old gold rush town at the southern end of Plumas County, a county rich with lakes, rivers, and streams. So much water is in this area that gold miners used to pipe it into giant water cans called monitors and blast away hillsides looking for gold. The wash sat down to the bedrock, and that's where the gold was. You'll find a bunch of gold rush water history inside the Frank Riley Museum. 15, 20 foot of snow around here for years. Before tractors and snow plows, the only way to get around in Laporte in the winter was on these long skis. It was so much part of the town that some of California's first ski teams started here. Hey, uh, is there much skiing up here uh, these days? Not so much because of snowmobiles. One of the more morbid water-related stories out of Laporte is the mummification of B.W. Barnes. The Bay Area man made his money diverting water to mines using wooden pipes. When he died, he was buried in the local cemetery, but years later, the Barnes family paid to have him exhumed. The local doctor discovered his body had not decomposed. He was really enthused about getting everybody to come look at him. So he invited the kids out of the school and they come over to look at him and he pound on his chest with his cane and say, oh, mummified, huh? mummified. There's all sorts of historical characters to learn about in the museum, like dancer entertainer Lotta Crabtree or Pollywog, the gold miner. But if you ask me, the real characters in town are the ones who are still living. It's in the middle of nowhere. We are a town of mainly vacation cabins and about 15 people. Jay Peterson and his wife own the new General Store, not to be confused with the old General Store right next to it, which blew up in the 1970s. Gas, propane, or, or uh, something. Anyways, Jay makes the best cookies in town, and his wife dishes up some real darn good chili. Right, like kind of old-fashioned chili. This is what chili is supposed right, to taste right. like. And wash that chili down, head over to Riley's Saloon and ask Lisa Martin to make you a tree smacker. I could, yeah, it gives you, it gives you a little smack there, doesn't it? Laporte is a beautiful town with charming people and fun history. If you visit on a sunny day, take a picture for me. Not many places where you'll find a working payphone here. I guess you kind of need it up here. Not a whole lot of cell phone service. From the La Sierra town of Laporte, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back roads.